Right, let's see how are we gonna create a fake access point using our two Wi-Fi cards. First of all, let's have a look on um, the cards that are connected to my uh, Kali Linux machine. So I'm gonna go if config, and we can see that we have ETH0. That's a wired card and it is connected to the internet it has an ip address here and that's a wired card so that's going to be my internet card this doesn't have to be a wired card as i said in the previous video it can be a 3g card it can be any it can be another wireless card the main idea behind this part this card is to be connected to the internet so that it can provide us with internet access and I have my second card here, that's the Mon Zero, and that's the one that it has monitor mode enabled on it. It's a Wi-Fi card, and we're going to use this card to broadcast the signal of the fake access point. So let's start with um, creating the access point. I have all the commands here in, um, in a file, so it's called fake access point commands. Um, First thing, you're going to need to install um, a program called DNS Mask. It's a server. Um, so I have it already installed. Uh, it's going to tell me it's already installed. And um, this server, we're get, it's going to be used so that each device that connects to our fake access point, um, this server is going to give it a new IP address so that it can communicate with us and it can successfully connect to the network. So you only need to do this once. Um, then you're gonna need to let's do tc dnsmask.conf. Um, then the next step is going to be uh, modifying the configuration for DNS mask. So let's make sure that we have um, the DNS mask configuration file. So we're just going to add uh, the interface name of the fake interface that's going to be created when we create the fake access point. So it's called ATH0. It's a fake interface. And then we specified um, the range of the IP addresses that we can give. So I'll just copy that and paste it. And that's done. Now, uh, we only need to do this once, so we only need to modify the configuration and install DNS mask once. Um, the next commands, we're going to need to do them every time we want to uh, start a fake access point. So the first command now is going to be airbase ng. That's the program that we're going to use to create a fake access point. So uh, it's going to be fake um, airbase ng. E, we put the name of the access point that we want to create and then we put the channel and then we put uh, the Wi-Fi card name so for me it's going to be airbase ng e uh, fake access point the channel is going to be 6 um, have another look on it airbase ng e the name of the Wi-Fi card and the channel is number 6 so we're gonna hit enter and we can see that an access point with BSSID, this is started. So now there is an access point, a fake access point. It's broadcasting in the air. The only problem with this access point is that it's not connected to the internet. So if someone connects to this access point, they will be able to connect, but they will have no internet access. So there's really no point of this access point right now. So let's try to connect this access point to the internet. We're going to do this by again, um, by connecting the broadcasting so we have now the Wi-Fi card is broadcasting the signal but there's no internet so to do this we're gonna connect we're gonna link this Wi-Fi card with the card that's connected to the internet so any request that the Wi-Fi card receives it's going to forward it and ask the internet card for it and when the internet card brings that request it's gonna give it to the Wi-Fi card and the Wi-Fi card will know what to do with it so basically, we're just going to link those two cars together through our uh, laptop or through our device. Um, to do this, uh, we're going to first of all bring the ATH0 
interface up that's the fake interface that is created by Airbase NG you can see here it tells you that um, a fake interface has been created the ATH0 so we'll just bring it up and that's done then we're gonna remove uh, any rules that we have in IP tables IP tables is a firewall that's used in Linux and it's a rule based firewall so there is rules you can add rules to the firewall and it'll uh, drop or allow packets depending on the rules so some of these rules might uh, prevent our access point from working properly so we're gonna just flush all the rules and delete them from IP tables and that's that done then we're going to ensure that uh, IP tables the firewall that we just spoke about allows packets to be forwarded through my device because my computer my device is going is going to act like a router now so packets need to be able to flow through my laptop without being stopped without being dropped so we're just going to make sure IP tables will allow these packets to go through and it will not uh, drop them so that's done now as well and then this is a very important step um, in this step we're going to uh, link our Wi-Fi card with the card that is connected to the internet okay so if we go back here and if we go we can see my ET ETH0 is the one that is connected to the internet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna link our Wi-Fi card sorry yeah um, so we're gonna replace the internet interface with the name of the card that is connected to the internet in my case it's called ETH0 it's in here and that's my wired card that is connected to the internet so this will uh, link my fake access point uh, my Wi-Fi card to the wired card so it's gonna link it's gonna establish this link between the um, uh, Wi-Fi card that's broadcasting the signal and the card that is internet uh, connected to the internet so we're gonna hit enter and that's done now all we have to do is start DNS mask um, as I said that's a program that's gonna give IPs to the devices that are gonna connect to our network and then we're gonna enable IP forward which again will allow packets to flow through my, la my laptop without dropping them and by now everything should be fine um, we go back our network is still running so we're gonna go uh, to our target device we're gonna try to connect to this network and see if it has internet connection or not okay so now we're gonna go try to connect to it and we can see that there's a network called fake AP here that's the network that we created now obviously you should call it some something else not fake AP but that's the name we're using now for demonstration purposes so we're gonna connect to it and as you can see that now we connected to the network let's see if we can actually access the internet through this network so let's try to go to google.com and as you can see we have uh, full access to the internet um, it's working perfectly and that's from our um, fake access point here if we go to back to our device we can see that the client has tried to associate with us and that the connection has been established Now you can uh, connect to the network and start sniffing. Uh, you'll you'll be able to use all the attacks that we're gonna explain in the uh, in part three, the powerful attacks that I'm gonna talk about. You can just capture if you want. You can just sniff all the packets and then analyze them using uh, Wireshark, which we're gonna ex explain again in section three of this course. So basically, the reason of this tutorial was just to create a fake access point and from this fake, a fake access point it's going to attract people to connect to it because it's open and it's going to have internet access once people connect to it then you'll be able to uh, gather all the information 
um, or all the packets that they're gonna send in the air, including their passwords, logins, um, all the sensitive data that they're gonna use.